everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are unboxing our Beautylish Lucky Bag. I'm so excited for this. Now I have done Lucky Bags in the past and I have quite enjoyed them. I remember one time I had gotten like seven or eight different uh, Jouer lip glosses and those were so good, so good. Um, I've gotten a Sony G brush, I've gotten a uh, Wayne Goss brush. Um, I can't even remember what else. Can't remember what else, but I do remember that I enjoyed those boxes. So if you guys want to check out what I received in previous years, then I will have those videos listed down below. So let's go ahead and see. Now they do have different tiers. Um, they have the regular Lucky Bag, which is the one I got. Uh, they have the extra large, which ugh, like this is the third time this has happened to me. I've always wanted to go big and then I hesitate and I don't, but I kind of wish that I did. It's fine. There's always next year. Um, so they have the regular one, the extra large one. They have like a Jeffree Star one, which I, I, I don't go for. I have a lot of products from Jeffree Star, especially from his mystery boxes. Um, so I kind of steer clear of that one. And then I also have a buy one, get one, buy one, give one, uh, which I think is really cool. But uh, yeah, I'm not going to bother in uh, reading this for you because I'm sure there's so many videos out there already right now that you guys have already heard that over and over again. So we're just going to get straight to the goodies. Ooh. Okay, so they are just putting it in a bubble wrap this time, which I think is really nice. Uh, that way it's extra protected. Nothing's going to get broke. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. So the first item we have is the satin scrunchie. So I have a pack of scrunchies. I like scrunchies. What When it comes to a lucky bag, it's not something that I would be like, oh yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm really hoping for. I can get these um, from like my FabFitFun and Walmart. <laughs> I don't need Beautylish to give me scrunchies, but I do want to see what they feel like. So there's five in here. Ah, okay, they're cute, they're soft. Two black ones, two pink ones, and like a tan one. So those will definitely get used. Just not really expecting scrunchies. All right, so the next item. Uh, this is so cheap. Okay, so these are Ardell Professional Individual Lashes. So first of all, yes, I use lashes. Never would I ever personally use single lashes. I just, it's not for me. I already struggle, <laughs> struggle with putting on real lashes, uh, real lashes, but regular lashes, let alone individuals. And aren't these like super cheap anyway? Like just a couple bucks? That's a bummer. Like if you're, if you're gonna send me our lashes, okay, please at least send me one, at least one full set of lashes. Singles suck. Now, Grant, there's people out there that like it. I am just personally not one of them. All right, there's gotta be something better in here. <laughs> Alright, so the next item is from Good Molecules. I've actually really heard great things about this brand. I've tested out a couple things here and there. I did get something from them in my uh, box last year. This is the Wake Up Eye Gel. Hmm. Formulated to help revitalize and energize the eye area. Very nice. Alright, so that's really nice. I love eye creams, eye gels, eye patches, things like that. So this one is good for me. Okay, so this one is a Charlotte Tilbury Lip Jewel. <laughs> it's a diamond, dazzling diamond gloss. I, do I even have, I think I have one thing that's Charlotte Tilbury and it's a lipstick and I love it. So, oh, this packaging, look at it. It's so 
freaking pretty. Oh my gosh. And it's texturized on the top. So. Mm, that smells nice. <gasps> oh. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, that's so pretty. I don't know if you can see. <laughs> I love it. I'm going to put it on my lips right now. Oh, it smells so good. Not super sticky. Now I can feel the little specks of glitter inside. I mean, it doesn't bother me, but it's so pretty. You can definitely see the sparkles. It would be great for springtime um, or summer. <laughs> okay, I'm very, very happy with that. And Charlotte Tilbury is an expensive brand. The next item we have Ooh, it's from Becca. Yes. So this is a shimmering skin perfector pressed highlighter. Very nice. This is in the shade Royal Glow. So obviously it is a full size Becca highlighter. Now I love Becca highlights. Um, I have a couple of them. My favorite though from her is that um, that lilac one, the purple one. Oh, that one melts my heart. It's stunning. So this is what it looks like. It has a little crown inside. So pretty. Let's go ahead and give it a little swatcheroo. So soft. All right. So that is what it looks like. Let's do a swatch on the arm. That's what the swatch looks like. That might be a little, little dark for me. Let's see. I already have highlight on, but you know. Okay, maybe not. Oh no, it'll be fine, especially in the summertime. Oh, that's so pretty. <gasps> okay, needless to say more, I'm very happy with this. Oh, I'm so excited. All right, and the, oh, let's see. The next item we have is from Sonia G. Yes, these brushes are so expensive, but they are so freaking good. Um, this is the Mini Booster Brush. I love the color of it, the blue and black. I love the design and I cannot wait. This is actually, I love the fact that this is a smaller kind of like blending brush because I do have hooded eyes. Um, so it is a little bit nicer to go in with a smaller brush. So this is absolutely perfect. And our last item. <gasps> This is a good palette, mm, but I just bought it for myself in December. <laughs> I'm so, ugh, dang it. Okay, I had seen a couple other unboxings and I, some people had gotten like this Charlotte Tilbury palette, like the long blue one. <sighs> I was really hoping for that one, but I got the Natasha Denona Love Palette. Okay, like I said, this is a really good palette. Hold on, let me grab it. So here's mine. Um, it's a really good palette. I freaking love it. I love Natasha Denona. Like, <sighs> this is what it looks like. Absolutely stunning. so bad like I literally just went on like a shopping spree in December I'm like you know what I'm gonna treat myself I'm gonna treat myself I'm gonna go ahead and buy uh, a couple of Natasha Denona palettes and I did that's what I did and now I have an extra <laughs> so so you guys know that I have a 2k giveaway coming up uh, right around the corner so we're gonna go ahead and put this in the 2K giveaway. <laughs> Sucks for me, but great for you guys. Um, 
yeah, this is a great palette. And I'm actually, I'm really happy that I'm able to uh, give this to some one of my lucky subscribers. Uh, so that's really exciting. And um, dang it, I was just hoping I'd get a palette I didn't have. <laughs> but it's okay. Uh, so, in a sense, did I get lucky? Absolutely. I mean, anything Natasha Denona and Charlotte Tilbury and Becca, those are some amazing brands all full-size products in my lucky bag so yes in that sense I'm definitely lucky on the other hand it's a palette I already own darn it um, so in that sense I'm kind of unlucky personally <laughs> that could have saved me $65 but that's okay it's okay uh, it's going in the giveaway so all in all, do I think this lucky bag was worth it? Absolutely, I think this was a great lucky bag for this year. Um, I'm definitely thinking next year, I'm gonna try and go for the big daddy, the extra large. Um, we'll see if I can score one of those. Now I did notice a couple of videos where people were able to buy two. Um, from my understanding, you're only supposed to be able to buy one, <clears throat> so, you're not able to buy like a regular size and an extra large. It's, it's like one box per address. So I don't know if they had a glitch or somehow they got around it. So that's probably why they sold out even faster than normal. <clears throat> so that kind of sucks. But um, I'm still happy. I'm still happy with my box. So definitely getting another one next year. Alright guys, so that's it for this unboxing. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, please give me a big ol' thumbs up. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.